Low-lying Bangladesh is on the front line of climate change. Its farmlands facing constant floods, erosion and salinity. To combat this, farmers are using rafts, which remains afloat for a period long enough to grow vegetables. The problem is during high tide, this area gets flooded, with little water remains during low tide. This is why we're using floating beds to grow vegetables. Floating platforms offer up to an additional 40% of arable land, creating opportunities for poor landless farmers. Aquatic farming, a century-old practice in Bangladesh that almost disappeared, is making a comeback. With limited land, resources and threats of climate change, people here are now starting to appreciate the importance of environmentally friendly traditional cultivation systems. Musamat Nurjahan can earn around $2.50 for day's work. We use organic fertilizers on these seeds, then keep them in a shaded area to mature. Later we plant them in the floating beds with natural fertilizers and sell them when ready in the markets. Farmers generally do not use chemical fertilizer or pesticides using this method, so there is a greater demand for them. These plants and vegetables are from the floating beds. Farmers bring them to us by boats. We then carry them again in boats and sell them at various bazaars. This year, floating seed beds have been used on 290 hectares of Pirajpur's marshland area. There are now around 50,000 people involved directly or indirectly in this type of farming in the district. This method of farming is getting really popular and is now practiced in at least 15 to 20 other districts. Farmers are making a good profit. Many poor Bangladeshi farmers have now been given a financial lifeline by turning back the clock and relying once again on a traditional farming technique to protect their livelihoods. Tanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Pirajpur, Southwest Bangladesh.